Okay, so today is the mid chapter checkpoint, and we're going to do what we always did. Um, go through, it's just, just two pages, 12 questions, not hard at all. What I would want you to do is go through this first and see what you can answer. See what's, e what's easy, what's not easy. See if you can figure some of these out by yourself, and then we'll come back from what we've learned, and then we'll come back and see what we've done. So if you go through and try it now, and then come back and rewatch this video, we're gonna start now. So if you haven't started, if you've already completed, watch. If you haven't, pause it right here. So number one, it says you blank when you separate into equal groups. Okay, or is, it, is it divide or divisor? We divide. We separate it into equal groups. We divide. Remember, if you don't get one right or you have struggle with one, circle it. Say, okay, I got to look. I got to relearn that, or I got to look at that again. It says use counters or draw quick pictures on your math board. Well, we don't have that here. So you have six counters and you put them in um, two equal groups, for like for like this. And you put six in, there's going to be three in each group because three times two equals six. Okay. You could do the same thing here. Instead of drawing five times what equals 30. We'll skip count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, six. You could do, even do the same thing here. What times seven equals 28? 7, 14, 21, 28, 4. And you could do the groups too. We don't have enough room on here to do the groups, but the groups would look like this. For example, we have two equal groups. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can see there's three in each group. Okay. Now we have 30 counters, so we'd have to draw 30 and circle 5, and how many circles we'd have would be that. Same thing here. We have seven equal groups. We're going to count up to 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And there's four in each group. So the only one that was a little bit different was the second one. That means if you know the numbers in each group. If you know the number, if you know the total number of counters and the numbers in each group, you can draw the counters and circle how many is in each group. So write a division problem for this. Well, we have eight counters. And we have two equal groups. So there's four in each group. Or it could be eight counters. That always has to be the first number. With four in each group. And we have two equal groups. So there's two things we could, we, we could do. Now we have five, 10, 15 counters. We have three equal groups, so it equals five. And we have 15 counters with five in each group. And there's three equal groups. You guys see the kind of like what, I, what we could do? This one, you always got to start with the, the highest number. So it's 36 divided by nine, because that's what we're taking away. And they have one, two, three, four, four problems. OK, this is always the when you see it like this, 36 divided by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next one, we're starting at 21. 21, we're jumping 1, 2, 3 times. And we have how many jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or we could do 21, 7 jumps will be 3 each time. Okay. Victor plants 14 seeds in some flower pots. If he puts two seeds in each flower pot, how
how many flower pots does he use? So we have our total and we have how many seeds. So let's count. Let's do it right here. We have 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So two in each flower pot. So here's one flower pot, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he has 14. He puts two in each, which means seven flower pots. Desiree has 35 stickers. She gave three friends the same number of stickers. She now has 20 stickers left. Then she gives the same number of stickers to another five friends. How many stickers did she give to three friends and five friends? So first off, how many? She had 35 and she gave three friends to three friends the same number. Now she has 20. Okay. So she gave out the difference between 35 and 20 because she had 35 and after she gave them out, she had 20 left. So 35 minus 20 is 15. So she gave out 15 to three friends. So 15 divided by three is going to be five. So she gave three friends five stickers and five friends. So she has 20 stickers and she gives the same number to all of them. So 20 stickers, and she gives five out. So if we skip count five to 20, five, 10, 15, 20, four. So three friends, five got uh, three, three friends equals five stickers and five friends equals four stickers. Three friends equals five stickers and five friends equals four stickers. That's a tough one. Jaden modeled a division problem with some counters. What division problem does this match? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 14 counters with two equal groups, and there's seven in each group. Or we could do 14 with seven in each group, two equal groups. And last one. Lily bought 24 cans of cat food. There were four cans in each pack. How many packs were there? So, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So now, how many blocks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs were in that can. So simple, simple as that. I had eight in there already. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. You got to count up, use a multiplication chart, or you could have simply done this. 24 divided by four equals six. All right. If you got all those right, we're in good shape. If you missed a few, go back and look and see why I missed them. Other than that, I got, you guys have a good one. It's a short lesson today.